Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Um, this might be a little bit of a ramble, but it deals with the subject of uh, having the capacity to be absolutely violent when necessary and gracious and kind and compassionate in the same person. Now, I believe that is absolutely true. Uh, and I've seen that firsthand. Uh, the the model that I use, and I've seen it in combat um, uh, when I was in the, in the war, and I've seen it uh, with our uh, law enforcement people out on the street. Uh, in both cases, you have individuals who must must have the ability to deliver extreme violence, either to protect themselves or to accomplish a mission that's been given to them. Um, the same person I observe, uh, you know, after, and this is in, in, in combat, uh, seeing not a medic, not a corpsman, but a regular, a regular soldier, infantry person, uh, trying to save the life of an enemy who has who has been uh, uh, wounded turns out he was mortally wounded and there was nothing this person could do but the idea that that was inside of them that that they they created this person uh, and then and then tried to to save them for no other reason and I talked to this this infantry person uh, for no other reason than that's that's what I should do. I mean, that's what came out of his mouth, you know. And 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 way back then, it made me made me pause. Then currently and throughout, I mean, I, I call him officer friendly, right? <laughs> officer friendly. But uh, the the same person who can. It, it, Say they work in the jail or they work in the prison. Uh, they and, and and they have to get busy sometimes with some people. Uh, they can't deliver the deadly force unless there's no other option because those people are in their custody. But out in the street, uh, I mean, there are plenty of stories of officers who, going about their daily work on patrol or going to the grocery store or whatever and they they come on an opportunity not an opportunity they come on a situation where they see another person in in harm's way or just in a bad way in a bad way that could be the the young kid down in San Diego a couple three years ago who was hungry an officer didn't know this young kid and the officer took him into the McDonald's because that's where he was going and you know bought him food and stuff and they sat down and yucked it up a little bit and the kid was maybe 12 you know and it was not a good part of town and um, the next day that same officer was murdered in the street by the gang that was trying to recruit this little boy because the cop interfered with the recruitment. He didn't know that. He was just being a kind person. Another is is uh, uh, the officer in the grocery line, and the lady can't can't uh, runs out of runs out of uh, EBT money on her card or his card, right? And they go, I got this. Without even thinking, without even thinking, you know, no cameras rolling, none of that, right? Right, at least not that they could see. But somebody was taking video with their phone, and the person goes out, and the the, the kindness that came out and the compassion that came out of the person, who is also capable of shooting you in the face, if if need to, or killing you, if need be. My point is we all need to have that. We need to have the ability 
to deliver the ultimate in violence against another human, as well as to deliver the ultimate in compassion to another human. Neither is demanded of us. Neither is demanded of us, except by circumstance. If you happen to be in a job where that's your job to deliver violence when necessary, that doesn't make you a violent person. It makes you a person capable of violence. Doing an act of compassion doesn't make you a compassionate person. It just says you have the capacity to do that. And you should not be demand it should not be demanded of you to be compassionate. It should not be demanded of you to be kind. Those are choices. Those are choices. And that's I come to the end of the video and say that that's what makes me cranky. Because all around me I see signs that says, Be kind. What the hell with that? You know, I'm gonna be how I wanna be. Don't don't put commands up in public to tell people how they should be. If we're gonna put signs up in public, I would put a signs up that says, uh, allowing your child, supporting your child who doesn't know what, what sex they are is child abuse and you should go to prison. I mean, that's a sign I would put up, you know? Supporting trans is child abuse because trans is a fake condition, fake condition, it's a mental illness. And if we're not careful and we follow those commands because somebody has been told they're gonna be afraid, they're gonna lose their kid, if we follow those commands in public, we will breed we will breed Homo sapiens off the planet. Or, 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 or our enemies, read that as China, not so much Russia, China, will conquer us. Because they don't, they don't play that. They kill them. Just saying. Anyway, uh, that's my kind of before coffee thinking. And I'm not going to monetize this because somebody's going to, pitch a bitch and say it's hate speech or something. I don't care. But um, feel free to comment. And uh, I'm 50, five, zero, five, zero subscribers short of 10,000. Aren't there 50 people out there that, that see these videos? Please, subscribe. It doesn't hurt. But don't forget to hit the bell icon. And as always, wherever you can, however you can, whenever you can, carry on.